Thank you very much, members of various media houses. Uh, thank you for, for taking this time to respect our client for the Florida Republic Party. Today we have a different story. In politics, we have what we call external politics and internal politics. Today we are dealing with the MRP internal issues. Most of you uh, from different media uh, houses, you are used to us when you are confronting the state, the SAMPF, demanding our self-determination agenda, which is non-negotiable. But today, we are on a, a different page where, uh, as I'm introducing my reader here, who is our elder, who was there since time immemorial during the formation of our formation, Ubabahu uh, Ukum. I'd like to thank you all uh, and in the context of understanding on how politics uh, uh, happen, we, we have to deal with the, the issues of politics in a fair manner. If something is not going well, external, we have to, to, to confront it with the context it deserves. If also again we are having such a scenario, in the internal affairs of any political outfit, it has to be told as it is. So I'm not going to talk a lot. Uh, today, Mr. Kumbo uh, has everything for the MRP family and the, 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 the family of Makelele at large. I, I thank you, uh, Mr. Kumbo. Uh, thank you, Mr. Thank you very much. Uh, for a start, I will read the first statement as it is. And then uh, we will then ask the journalists if there are any questions that they need us to respond to. And, uh, now, let me read the first statement as it is. Uh, 25 September 2023, uh, press release for immediate release, ref, uh, dissolution of the MRP National Executive for the party. It is with deep regret and concern that we write this press statement as the provincial executive leaders. We have done everything humanly possible to find a solution to the prevailing crisis within the party. We have exhausted all available channels in the hope that meaningful dialogue and engagement can be obtained. The meeting held in Guluman on the 10th of September 2023 did not resolve much the follow-up meeting scheduled for the 17th of September was called off without any consultations with everyone concerned and without any regard for members who had met traveling and accommodation arrangements. We feel that the National Executive Committee has been negligent in its duties. The complete lack of respect for the lower structures and lack of integrity in conducting party affairs is testimony to the effect. Since there is no realistic hope for a meeting between the National Executive and the lower structures of the party anytime soon, we therefore issue out this statement to inform the party members and the general public that we, as the uh, Provincial Executive Committees, have resolved to dissolve the entire National Executive Committee, including President Kondisman. We will have a meeting of PECs and DEX. <coughs> An interim leadership on the 1st of October 2023 at 2 p.m. at a venue to be announced in the hope that a positive response may be obtained from the party's members to elect a new NEC. Below is the summary of the issues and concerns that led to this decision. Uh, the unwillingness of the National Executive to engage in meaningful and constructive dialogue with the lower structures of the party in finding lasting solutions to the present crisis. The memo sent by the Security Department concerning three party members, namely T. Fuloma, Chief of Matevelele North Chairperson, Chilumbo Mdenda, National Youth League Chairperson, Ketan Nevalendo, Matsau. We consider these suspensions null and void. The memo is vacuum in its content, giving rise to unnecessary speculation. Inquiries by concerned members of the party suggest that 
court appealed against conviction and sentence of the incarcerated MRP9 members was never successfully filed with the court. Despite being told otherwise, this is a great injustice that was committed to MRP9 causing unnecessary and prolonged suffering to fellow comrades. The lawyers have confirmed to us that they were never paid any cent. A full and detailed report will follow. Why has there been no senior member of the party to visit our fellow comrades? The last minute visit by Comrade Kawa is laughable and a desperate attempt by a morally destitute executive. The collection and distribution of MRP 9 donations is also of concern. There is no clear and transparent system used. Inventory of party property, inventory of all party assets, including vehicles. Who is responsible for the fleet and why all the vehicles are grounded? That is not clear and cannot be tolerated. <coughs> Public denigration of party members. Whenever there are concerns, issues raised, instead of engaging in mature dialogue to resolve the matters, these sending members are labeled state agents and spies, CIOs, and all sorts of names. Why can't you be mature in your leadership? Now everyone is a CIO. What kind of a party are we honest with? Counter-revolutionary tendencies and behavior by members of the National Executive. We have noted with deep concern the recent behavior of the National Executive Committee in regards to party affairs. Below is a summary of the most notable discrepancies. Despite embarking on a campaign trail in 2022 and 2023, the party leadership was not clear on our participation in the recently held national elections. Why? The president did not bother to endorse or acknowledge the candidates until the very last moment at the Stanley Square rally. This, we feel, was an act of sabotage and counter-revolutionary. There was very little financial and material support for our candidates during the run-up to the elections, except for bond paper and the pulp amount to be shared among all participating candidates. We view this as a deliberate sabotage. We noted the absence of senior NEC members during campaign meetings and roadshows to bolster, to bolster support for our candidates. The absence and subsequent silence by the NEC led to confusion and despondence not only to the candidates but to the electorate. This led to our poor performance in the elections. It was also supported. Why voting or not supporting the electoral process without any clear reason or purpose is an act of sabotage and is clearly counter revolutionary. Stanley Square Star Rally. There was no communication between NBC and the PECs concerning this rally preparation. The lower structures were never consulted nor involved in the planning of the rally. Despite pleas to postpone the rally, the National Executive went ahead and hosted the rally. The timing of the rally was off as everyone was busy on the campaign train. No consideration was taken by the NEC. As a result of this decision, there was a low turnout which further damaged the party's image, resulting in poor performance. Upon realizing that the rally had flopped, the party leadership then announced that the gathering was not a rally but a Thanksgiving ceremony. Can someone please make sense of this? The decision to invite foreign dignitaries to the rally despite available intelligence was an attempt to embarrass the party during an election period. This move was this move by the NEC is counter-revolutionary and must not be tolerated. Uh, there's also the issue of petition. The timing of the petition was <coughs> completely as it was brought in deep into campaign season. This exercise took away valuable time, resources and attention unnecessarily. It was merely an attempt to divert attention and sabotage the candidates. If this is not counter-revolutionary, then we don't know what is. As a party, we disassociate ourselves from the insults being peddled by Vincent Moore and Fanny Losbanda against most of multiple organizations, businesses and individuals. We would like to make it categorically clear that those are not the views of the party. 
We also want to make it clear that we have no issue with King Bulelani Kumar of the royal family or any other concerned Matebelele institution or organization. We have no issue with the civic society in Matebelele. We would like to assure our legal partners, both former and current, that our top priority is to restore relations soured by the previous administration. What the former MRP president did or said that offended our people in general is now water under the bridge. MRP will seek to work with all individuals, material and tribes in our diversity, and will continue to fight for the region. The People's Revolutionary Party will MRP will hold a national congress next year as soon as MRP 9 are released. We are calling upon all party members who were either dismissed by the previous administration or sidelined to come on board. Let's all bear the hatchet and rebuild our party to its former glory. We are calling upon all our members, some who have joined other political parties or formed some, to come back home. The provincial leadership and party wings has appointed Comrade Monisi Kumbo as the spokesperson of the party until an interim national executive committee is elected on the 1st of October 2023 for peace and justice in our lifetime. Uh, the, the statement was signed by Bulawa Provincial Chairperson, uh, Bulawa Provincial Secretary, Matibele and North Provincial Chairperson, Mark North Provincial Chairperson, uh, the Mark South Provincial Chairperson, Mark South uh, Provincial Spokesperson, Lincoln Spokesperson, Women's League Chairperson, Women's League Secretary, Youth League Chairperson, Comrade Lin, uh, in the West here. So, we thank you. Thank you very much, uh, <coughs> At this moment in time, I will entertain uh, questions, comments, and uh, clarifications from the gentlemen who are here. Structures are not happy with what the, the, the pop structure of the NDC and the case that we have to resolve in the, the top brass. So, my question is Does your constitution allow that to that is the lower structures you dissolve the top structure? Yeah. yeah, to begin with, there is no national executive that can exist uh, without the, the without the knowledge or the powers of the lower structures. To have a national executive, you fish from the provincial structures. So if the provincial structures uh, have got some theories as outlined in the statement, they've got that political mandate to withdraw powers from the then uh, national employees for being in politics. Our constitution allows us. Okay, let me also take the advantage of the chair. If you try to engage the, the leadership over these issues which you have, that's very great. And if you have, what has been the response? Okay. Uh, we have been doing so for the past uh, 24 months. But you will realize that uh, the best performance of the Republic Party was in 2018. After 2018 to date, the party has not been performing uh, according to what we want as the members of the party. And we have been trying to engage the president, to engage the national executive in the interest of the party and the interest of the public. And that has yielded no uh, tangible uh, results. That is why we are here. And we have now decided that since we are the ones who put in this Moyo as the president of MRP, we are the ones that put him and the leadership that he has. And now we are now withdrawing our support from him and the national executive and giving back the 
people, the members of the party, the power to decide who will lead the party. Because we are tired of individuals coming here, uh, claiming that they are the president, they claiming that they have the power to be the secretary, to be the treasurer, to be the organizer. We cannot tolerate that. We can't have an individual uh, making decisions for all of us. That is why it is called a party. So the party will make a decision on the 1st of October 2023 to decide who will lead the party on the interim going towards the actual Congress which will happen next year. To add on that, we are almost setting precedence on the African continent that people have power. You will see what the House of is wrote It's because of the precedent which was set when we took over from the white colony. It is, it is happening in the opposition fraternity where individuals are running political parties against private and limited companies. When yet, by virtue of registering a political party, it becomes a public company. You still remember when Strike Masio announced about uh, Econet as a public company. You, you no longer have the, the control. The, the individual who can go and purchase ownerships. So we are trying to set the precedent. Politics should not be a politics of personal aggrandizement, but to respond to the then to, 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 to the problem that are been raised in our midst, affecting the people. In the moment uh, uh, our president is not doing well, we are saying even him, Amazon Nagawa, if he is a president of the people came to with the glory in a democratic society. This is that the precedent that we are setting. We are saying we are withdrawing the National Executive Committee because of the non-conformities. They are not conforming according to the revolutionary standards. We need a driving wheel that will take us across the river. Thank you very much. Anyone else? Pastor. Thank you, Mr. President. Okay, Pastor. Okay, thank you. I hate to come say it's like it's an organization that is full of CIOs. So, my, my question is how did the CIOs get into the part when you, I think last time you were here, you said the voting system is so strict that you cannot be represented by anyone. So, how did the CIOs end up dropping into the party? And then maybe if you can explain more about the, the, the petition, I have to say the timing was not all right. Okay, thank you. <coughs> Let me start with the party performance. When we went to elections in, 2020, in 2018, the entire national executive structure was complete. The provincial executive were complete. We had 200 plus candidates in that election. We had more than 20 public rallies that we held that were successful. The main one was at Sitko. It was also successful. It was well attended. In 2023, we went to an election with a national executive that has no vice president, that has no treasurer, with the entire executive that was there being in South Africa. There was no one to address the public. We held only about two rallies. The Secretary for Information and Publicity that was there issued only about four or five press statements in 90 days. That is why we, that is how we rate the performance of the party. Obviously, under such circumstances, you don't expect better results. They will not come out properly. So, coming to the issue of Comrade Moore. Uh, Comrade Moore is aware that we are here. But I want to put it categorically clear that uh, there is no bad blood between us and the policy. We have no issues 
personal issues with him. Our issue is political. We approached him, we told him that we are not happy with the manner in which the party is run. We would want to have a conversation over these issues. Him decided in his own wisdom or lack of it that he will disregard the, the members, he will disregard the provincial executive. He decided that he will not ad attend to the meetings that he was called to attend to. We gave him a decision to choose because we said, okay, for the in, in the interest of the party, can we have the national executive the dissolved? But you remain as president of MRP. And then the public, the members of the party, choose their leaders from vice president going down. He rejected that idea. And then we told him that where we stand, now that you have rejected that, we are now dissolving everyone, including yourself. Because the party is by the people, for the people, and you cannot con continue to disregard the members. Now, the issue of CIOs, uh, I will give you to complete, but let me finish the first The issue of CIOs, it is uh, a propaganda that we have allowed to grow within our party. Every time somebody does not agree with you on this morning, he is immediately regarded as a CIO. He is re immediately accused of being a sellout. And for a long time, we have allowed those things to continue to happen. We have more than 40 uh, non-party officials since the, the formation of this party that have been accused of that. And we have seen that if we allow this thing to continue, the party will be destroyed. Because I personally don't believe that the NPF has capacity to, to employ all of us in Machiavelli and they make us the CIOs. It can't be. Where will they get the fight? So it's just a, a, an evil narrative that has been allowed to grow within Machiavelli. And we are saying we need to put a stop to it. Unless and until someone comes with the evidence, tangible evidence that in danger is a CIO or whosoever is a CIO, we should never tolerate such kind of nonsense. Uh, finally, on the issue of uh, certain petition, the person who asked it has gone out. But anyway, oh, you, you are here. All right. The issue of certain petition. Ngoni Small knew very well that what he did was wrong to disown members and to run away to South Africa during campaign. So he wanted something that he will come and will with people win. That is why he came up with this, uh, this set of petition and uh, told people that you, you need to start uh, signing the petition so that the set will do one, two, three, four, five. But we know that set is handling a, a lot of uh, serious issues that include wars. Why should they consider the petition as a, as a priority anyway? So this is not an issue at all. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, to, to just give an addition on the perspective of Isadi, uh, there is what we call management of public perception in the political discourse. When somebody loses grip, you have to maintain your, uh, your stance in the political markets. The issue of petition, uh, we have no problem about petitioning, but it's all about, about timing. We are going into an election, you are bringing a petition. We question it. That's when now people were given terms as CIOs and everything. So it's all about the issue of questioning. You get the point. So we are saying internal is MRP. And to an extent, even to those who wish to buy this idea to their political parties who are here present. Part leadership has no provision to direct important issues like petition without the consultation of lower structures. When you are presenting a petition, the one who signs, who gives the chairman in being a what one the signature is the one chairperson. He must be involved, she must be involved in the thinking process. 
if those people are eliminated, we, 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 we see it as a, 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 a coup to the structures. Top leadership is responsible for the day-to-day -day running of the party whereby consultation becomes the broader sense. If the lower structures are no longer consulted, we don't consider it as a political party. Political party has to manifest <coughs> in the consultations based on lower structures. We don't choose, we don't elect a president to go and dictate. Dictatorship is a cancer on the African continent. We are trying to get rid of dictators when we are ruling the same dictators. So as Africans, it's a blow to us. Uh, my request to you, members from media fraternity, this should go to be, it has to be a breaking news. La yes, because we need we need to be led by various political parties. Leadership can be confronted by no structures. <laughs> okay, thank you so much for your responses. We we'll take the next round of questions. What's your question for you? And then we will do we also ask the question. Okay, you can ask again. May you please give us an update on the issues of the Emerald Pinna? Okay. MRP9, they are still behind bars under the regime. The regime is still keeping them. Uh, everything is going well. Uh, their months of saving are being subtracted every minute, every second, every hour. That's why we highlighted uh, in our statement that some of the grievances that we have with our national executive uh, involved the welfare of our fellow comrades. We highlighted the issue of the, 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 the unupdating of the national executives to the lower structures of the proceeding. <laughs> Of the legal proceedings, legal proceedings, we highlighted that nothing was paid to the legal team to pursue the issue of the appeal. We highlighted it. So that's the state of the affairs. So it's one of our principal regions and that is our national executive. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you very much for calling me for this. You know, I don't understand you know, and uh, really it bothers me. You know, according to my knowledge, when I was in Zabu, where I grew up, I saw where Zabu was, where Zabu was sleeping. Now I have come to Tongari, I saw Tongari in sleeping there. Now I'm here again, trying to fix things for our children and women. And uh, we are actually being confronted by such things. Thank you very much for being there. Firstly, a leader is a leader by people. If a leader can fail to come down to the people to answer just questions, or to update people, then that leader ceases to be a leader. He cannot lead the people when he is actually having somewhere where he thinks he is reaping, he is getting something that feeds or pleases himself. Then that leader must be removed. Sorry, I am committed. You can remove me if you think I am wrong. There is nothing wrong. And uh, it is the lower structures, the words and branches that call upon the leadership to come and explain. One day I called upon John the Rai when I was in, the, the, in our offices there. He refused to come. When he refused to come, I confronted him and told him that as long as you don't come, that's the reason. He quickly came. When he came, he answered questions which at the end, it became a little bit angry for that. 
Now, please, uh, here we mean business. We want our land. We don't hate no one. We want the land of our forefathers. No one is hate. What we want is just the land. And uh, no one can build up a, a CIO. If he comes here together with us, he's claiming land. He's right. Whether he's a CIO or what, we, we're not looking at how you put it before. We're looking at what we want. If you help us get to where, where, where we want, then you're right. But if you miss the help, we will catch you. Definitely we will catch a long person. If the leadership of MRP is not willing to come to the people, then they are not supposed to be leaders. Thank you very much, the two of you. Let's win. Let's, you know, Nagarapa is a human being. You must understand us. We are not going there and asking for cutting the country into two. We are going there asking for the restoration of Matebele, which is known. This protectorate, this Parotele protectorate, the two they can claim if they want in Zambia. But here we are asking for that. No one can stand up and say we are wrong. We are not tribalists like uh, the party that is going to Zambia, which is particularly for the people of Machonali. Here we are asking for our uh, laid down, our, uh, our country that is known. Uh, if you open, if you look at the maps, they will direct you that in this country. Please go on. No one comes with which massa. Thank you. It was uh, impounded by the police when MRP 9 were uh, arrested. At the end of uh, the court case, we expected the state to bring back our truck, but that has not happened. And uh, the previous administration was supposed to talk to the lawyers, pay what was asked for, and then follow the legal process to get back the track. And that has not happened. And this is why we are here and we are saying we will look into it. Out of curiosity, how much are you talking about technical legal fees? Sorry? How much are legal fees that are required? Uh, we, we work with the lawyers for human rights. Most of the issues that uh, we handle as a party were done pro bono except for two issues. Number one, the issue of appeal for MRP 9. And number two, the issue of the track. Our understanding was that the issue of appeal, we were, we were charged 1,000 US dollars. No cent was paid. On the issue of the track, I'm not sure how much was charged. But I am sure that nothing was paid because we spoke to the lawyers and the lawyers said they have not received any money from the Maraki. If you let me ask one more question. <coughs> How does the future look like uh, for MRP? With what we have done today, don't you think that maybe it will be not the beginning of the end of the MRP, considering that you have said you have been having these problems with the past two years? Yeah. Uh, this is the, the beginning of the new year. As I you alluded earlier, our generation it is different from other generations. Uh, we are a generation that does not accept anything that is full of non-conformities. As I say, 
we want to set a president. If God is with us, the president that we are setting today, I think it has got, it has got a lot of water to hold. In, in as far as paving the future of every child on the African continent. <coughs> we are saying what is wrong if it is done by somebody who is, the, who is in the government. It has to be said as it is. Also, if it is being done by somebody who is a, opposing the government with the merit to say I, I can do better. If he does something wrong, we have to tell him there and there go ahead. That's how our continent is going uh, left. It's because leaders are not being confronted when they are doing a lot of things which are not constitutional, which are not part of democracy. So we are fighting against acting on mediocrity. We are fighting against the dictatorship at every cost. Whether we are in the government or outside the government. That's our motto. MRP, as we said, we have nothing in person with our president. What we are saying is, we don't want dictatorship. People might choose leaders of their choice. It is in the constitution of our hearts. Sing our hand, the constitution is a United Nation. To add on to what the comrade is saying here, uh, I think the future is bright. The person who has been holding on to uh, the progress of this party is the national executive. They failed to run the party. But the members of MRP, they are still here. We have even extended our call to those members of the party who have been there in 2014, who have been there in 2015, who have been there in 2018, who have been dismissed or have been sidelined unfair. We are saying all of those people should come back to MRP and be part of us and participate with us at the Congress that is coming next year in April, we are saying all members of MRP have a right to choose their own leaders. If they so wish to bring back Congress to this Moyo as the president of MRP, so be it. Because this Moyo has not been removed from the party. No one has been removed from the party. Everyone is here and still a member of MRP. At Congress, the people will decide who leads the party.